Hello, I'm Teresa Ruth Howard, and I'm here with Natalie Garnaschelli, who is my yoga instructor, but she's also a nutritionist. And I thought that was very interesting, and I asked her to come here and speak with us about these matters. So, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about your background? Sure. Thanks for having me. Thank you. <laughs> so, I'm originally from Kentucky. I did that. Yes. And um, I have a background in ballet, so I was a serious ballet dancer for forever. And then in college, um, I started doing the um, My sister forced me. And <laughs> <laughs> I hated it at first, and then it took me years to get involved. And right. then finally, just started working, so I became trained. Let's see, the summer after I graduated, 2004. And that was six years ago, wow. And then um, I moved to New York, and I just always was interested in nutrition. I was scared of the sciences, but I just decided to go for it. So the past four years, I've been um, working on my master's, and at the same time, becoming a registered dietitian. Why did you choose nutrition? Did it have anything to do with your dance background, or? Okay. I mean, I think, absolutely. I have never met, and I would love to meet, a dancer who isn't somehow caught up with image. Forget that. Right? Right. Exactly. No. Yeah. Me. And especially as a ballet dancer, um, you know, luckily I never went through a path of eating disorder, etc. I didn't really even see that much, but it definitely was an issue. Right. It, it, it affects your relationship with food. Absolutely. And also just being a woman in the society today, and especially mm. our country, I mean, we're just constantly bombarded with messages that kind of equate value with um, your parents. Yeah, so exactly. I think it's hard for all women and men for that matter as well. Um, why did I choose nutrition? So I like food. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> food is good. <laughs> <laughs> but that's such a precious thing I think, especially <laughs> for dietitians, especially for dancers. Mm. Like, the emotional component of, of food has always interested me. When I was a little girl, I would watch people eat and just be fascinated by the way that they ate slowly or fast or interesting. Yeah, and sometimes I would make really inappropriate comments. Um, <laughs> like what? Like in public. It was awful. You know, I was so I was so young at that time. What did you say? Oh, like, oh, she's eating her flour. No, I'd be like, why is that man eating so much? You know, oh, interesting. It's just that's kind of. It was awful. You know, I was so I was so young at that time. What did you say? Oh. Like, oh, she's eating her flour. No, I'd be like, why, why is that man eating so much? You know, oh, interesting. It's just that's kind of just it was awful. But you're you're a little kid. I mean, it's interesting right. though because I was just very very aware of people's um, I think behaviors around food, and I just I, I think I, and I also know from experience that food is so so connected with um, your emotions. And it, I think the nutrition is just so simple. Really, it's simple. We're able to complicate it with you know all of the technology today, right. and we're doing just unbelievably bizarre things. With food. <laughs> um, but honestly, it's simple. However, our emotions tied to food would become very complicated. And it's so, so true because you think about it like we, our families sometimes surround themselves with with food based festivals, or we're trying not to eat it, we eat it when we feel bad, we eat it when we feel good, yeah. it's like, so it wasn't actually the nutritional aspects, like, can I be healthier, that drew you to it, it was actually kind of like the social surrounding of it? Yes, yeah, absolutely, and I mean, I have a background in sociology, and so I guess, you know, there, uh -huh. is, there is some sort of linear trajectory in my life that definitely brought me here. Now, what is the difference between um, a nutritionist and because you're going to be a registered dietitian and that's something very different and so can you explain to us a little bit about what the differences are okay this is very important <laughs> this is really fascinating that. because I, I didn't I had no idea I was like really yeah um, anybody can call themselves a nutritionist nutritionist <laughs> yeah you know everyone honestly you will meet every single person and they know the most about nutrition. Mm. Ask anyone, they say, right, oh, sure. I know exactly how to eat, like this is what you should be doing. Um, there's no regulation on that term. Unfortunately, I like that term more. Um, so I prefer to, you know, kind of use that term to describe my profession now. But a registered dietitian, um, 
you have to go through a slew of science courses. It's kind of a pre-med course track. Um, and then we go through this internship, which is like a dietitian's residency, similar to a doctor. So we're clinically trained. We work in, over the past year, I've worked in HIV clinics. I've worked in dialysis centers. I've worked in a psych institute. I've worked at it's just a lot of different places. So it's, it, it is actually, you have a, basically almost a, a medical background. Yes, definitely. Absolutely. That it's kind of, it's deeper, it's more in depth. And it's very interesting because I never thought about that. But yeah. you were saying something about why you're, the dietitians are trying to move away from that word. Yeah. Like, because it has the word diet in it. I know, it's hard because we hate diets. Diets are bad. Right. <laughs> you know, our diet is inherently bad. Right. But, we do um, we do prescribe diets. Right. You know, in the hospital, if someone, say, a geriatric patient, a very an elderly patient can't swallow, we are going to prescribe a diet that is um, has a puree consistency. Right. So we do have to really make sure that diets are um, correct for their medical conditions. However, do I like putting someone on a you know a fad diet? No. Does it work? No. Yeah, because Does it make you crazy? Yeah. We don't enjoy that either. <laughs>